Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Harris Field for the first home match of the 2023 Belmont Boys Rugby season. My name is Peter Rosenmeyer. I'm to be joined shortly uh, by my colleague, David Hamer. Look forward to him arriving. It's a warm day at Harris Field, about 85 degrees in the shade. I would imagine it's up in the 90s down in the sun uh, on the turf. We're very excited to be hosting Simsbury High School from Connecticut today for a friendly match. Uh, Belmont has played a couple of friendly matches against Connecticut team, uh, one Connecticut team and one Rhode Island team in the last several weeks, uh, coming away victorious in the last two contests. Facing a tough Simsbury, Connecticut team, physical, big, and disciplined. Very glad you could join us this afternoon. I'm here with Jeremy Meserve, our producer, cameraman from Belmont Media Center. Jeremy, always great to see you. Great to be back at the mic today. So we have Simsbury in yellow, playing from left to right, and Belmont in white and blue, playing from right to left. Simsbury will kick off to the Marauders here as we start the 2023 home season for your state champion, Belmont Boys Rugby. The ref signals and the ball is away. We are in play. Ball's taken up. Looks like an early penalty against Simsbury. Looks like Belmont will take the kick here. Jake Cornelius. Jake playing number 12 in the line inside center. Outside of him is his brother Max Cornelius. Both tremendously tough, talented, smart rugby players. And Belmont uh, will have the line out. So on a penalty kick in rugby, uh, the team that kicks it out gets the ball for the line out. Belmont with a lot of options in their line. We'll see what they call up here. Tamer with the throw. And they go to the back pod. Josh Christensen taking the ball, and they go into the mall. Belmont mauling very effectively. 10 meters, 15 meters, it's rolling. And now the ball's out to the backs. Oh. Looks like a little bobble there, knocked forward. Says the sir. And we'll have a scrum down to Simsbury. So, nice mall there by the forwards. Uh, ball came out to the backs. Little mishandle, and Belmont turns it over here in the opening minute of play at Harris Field. Scrum down to Simsbury. Belmont front row, Zach Zadem, Gunho Park, and Asa Rosenmeyer forming the platform there and driving Simsbury off. Simsbury hooks the ball well. and runs strong forward, gaining meters. They set up a forward pod, but bobble the ball. Belmont chases well, but it looked like we have a no had a knock on at about the 49, yes. Knock on by Belmont there. And we'll try the scrum again to Simsbury. So when the ball is knocked forward in rugby, that's when we have a scrum, which is the set formation of eight forwards. The front row I named. In the second row, Alex DePamphilis, Tamara Sahay. At the flankers, Josh Christensen and Billy Hendrickson. And at the eight at the back of the scrum is Matt Dobin. Very strong forward pack uh, for the Marauders.
Looks like the sir is slowing the scrum down, making sure everybody's set. Important to get it right. Simsbury scrums well, and again, the number eight takes it. Number eight, Niles Arango for Simsbury. Carries well, has had a couple of strong carries already. And they pick and go off the back of the ruck. And again, pick and go. Really going to try to pound the ball forward, testing Belmont's defense close in. And the Marauders up to the task. Simsbury spins it out to the backs. Skip pass. Not much there as the Belmont defensive line comes up quickly, shuts down the space, makes the tackle. Simsbury winning the loose ball here. And a nice offload. Simsbury putting together some nice phases here, but not gaining a lot of yards on the play. And the ball gets, looks like played off of the ground was the call. A little hard to tell from here. So Simsbury will have the penalty and looks like they might be uh, tapping and going here. Belmont up quickly. Josh Christensen in with the tackle. Good tackle on the big man. And looks like a knock on to Simsbury. So we'll have Belmont scrum now. Scrum half for Belmont today, number nine, Kimball McMullen. The fly half, Henry Thomas. Uh, the Cornelius brothers, as I mentioned, and Stephen Hong in the back line. And our back three today, Miles Torres, uh, sorry, Stephen Hong and Rahul Patel. There's the ball out to the back line. Jake Cornelius gets the game line, then some. Crashed forward. Belmont winning the loose ball. Asa Rosenmeyer fends. Asa driving through. 25 yards on the play. Nice run by the big man. And the Belmont line offloads. Jake to Max. But it's called back. Thrown forward, says the sir. And in rugby, we never argue with the sir. So we'll have a scrum down to Simsbury on what was a wonderful set phases of play by Belmont. Unfortunately, called as a forward pass. So scrum to Simsbury at uh, their 20. They're inside the 22 meter mark, which is the 25 yard line and will probably try to kick this away. They do, and the ball stays in play. Oh, and rolls out, unfortunately, for Belmont at around the 36. So Belmont will have the line out at the 36. Good clearing kick by Simsbury with a lucky bounce there at the end. The mall worked well in this position last time. Let's see if they try that move or have something up else up their sleeve today. Tamar with the throw. Simsbury gets the defensive up. And Belmont can't get the line out cleanly. Again, the big number eight uh, for Simsbury. Niles Arango taking the, taking the ball off the back of the loose play. And Simsbury spins to their backs. Nice loop there.
Looks, looks like the serve is going to play the knock-on advantage. So the advantage is on a knock-on or on a penalty that the uh, if the team who's uh, favored in that situation has the ball, they're allowed to continue play until they either score or the play breaks down or a certain amount of time elapses. And then they will come back to the spot of the infraction. In this case, Simsbury scrum at the Belmont 45. And again, the ref slowing things down here at the, at the scrum, making sure everybody's in position. Good scrum. Simsbury kicks the ball, sees some space. Steven out to Rahul. The backs ruck well. Ball comes out. Tamer, a little bit isolated out there, but the support arrives. And Jake sees some space behind. Nice kick. Forcing the Simsbury 15, Elijah Love, back deep into his own territory. Belmont support is there quickly. And well played by Belmont, using the kick to put the pressure on the Simsbury side. And looks like they uh, had a knock on. So it'll be, oh no, it looks like it went out of bounds, sorry. So it'll be Belmont line out at the 20 playing in. Good scoring opportunity here for uh, Be Belmont. There's the clean line they want and a maul. Mauling it forward. And the ball comes out, spins to the backs. Miles Torres now to Rahul. Miles with a good ruck to clear out there. Gunho Park running hard. Goes to ground. Recycles. And it's like there was a little knock on there, says the sir. So Belmont with uh, some mishandles here when they've had some scoring opportunities giving Simsbury a couple of scrums that uh, turned the ball over. Simsbury scrum at their own 10. Belmont drives off and blocks the kick. Nice block. Stephen Hong steps, runs hard up the middle. Rucked well there by Belmont. Great block kick by Belmont, turning into another opportunity. Here goes Dobin. Matt Dobin running hard. And he's in for the try for Belmont. Nice, strong run by Mr. Dobin. Nice try by Belmont. Finally making use of the opportunities and a great block kick setting up that set of phases leading to Belmont scoring five points. Belmont, you get five points for touching the ball down in the try zone. And Jake Cornelius uh, doing the kicking for the extra two. So the conversion, the two points after the try, uh, the kick is taken from a spot that's directly out from where the ball was touched down. <laughs> and given that this was touched down pretty close to the center of the field, shouldn't be too much problem for Jake. It isn't. And Belmont takes a 7-0 lead over Simsbury. Here with about 13 minutes gone in the first half. 
but I guess I guess the way he is torn ACL from the on the floor. Oh, what did he just did he just tear it? Yeah. Unlike American football and uh, rugby 15s, which is what we're playing today, 15 people aside, if you score a try, you receive the ensuing kickoff. So Belmont will, uh, will receive this kickoff. They're back in their formation. You can see them spread out there, covering every part of the field. Simsbury in a flat line, hoping to come up and quickly get under this kick to put pressure on Belmont. Here we go. And Jake booting it back. Big boot. Oh. And Simsbury driven out of bounds on the far side of the field, but there was a knock-on prior to that, so we'll have a scrum to Belmont at about the 40. Beautiful play by Belmont to uh, set up that long, booming kick by Jake Cornelius and put pressure on. Simsbury knocking the ball on, giving Belmont a scrum here at the 40, playing in. Nice play by the Marauders so far. And the ball comes out to the backs. Skip, Max Cornelius is away in space. Max offloads to Jake. Jake goes to ground, rucked well by Belmont. And pick and go is on. Here comes Asa Rosenmeyer. Crashing through, and Asa Rosenmeyer in for the try. Beautiful phase of play there by the Belmont Marauders. The Cornelius brothers connecting, then controlling the loose play and sending Asa crashing into some helpless defenders. Asa and Jake, two Belmont players that play for the uh, USA national team. Asa plays for the U18s and Jake playing for the U20s. Very exciting opportunity to uh, go to Amsterdam last year and uh, the sides have not been announced for this summer but both are hopeful that they'll be named again. No shortage of talent here on this uh, Belmont starting 15. Of course, the Belmont Marauders head coach, Greg Bruce, and uh, wonderful staff of coaches. I'm very privileged to be among them, uh, doing a great job setting up an extremely positive culture, culture of uh, mutual support, and intelligent, hard-nosed rugby. So, Jake put, puts the conversion through, bringing the score to 14 to nothing, Belmont. And again, the Marauders will receive the kick. About halfway through the first half of this contest. Glad you could all be with us this afternoon. Very warm summer temperatures, summer conditions. Feels like we skipped spring and went right to August. Hot day on the field. Dobin crashes, loses the ball. Picked up well there by Zach, but knocked forward. 
Scrum down to Simsbury. So Simsbury with an opportunity here at the Belmont 35 playing in. Simsbury uh, front row, Mason Swilly, Vince Mateo, Micah Richards. And again, the big eight number, uh, number eight, Niles Arango taking the ball off the back of the scrum for Simsbury. There too, the hooker, Vince Mateo, crashes the ball forward. Belmont defense, staunch at the breakdown. And again, a hard hit. Not much there for Simsbury in the close channels, but they spin the ball wide. And Belmont forces the Simsbury player out of bounds, creating the turnover and giving Belmont a line out. So, smart defense there by Belmont, carrying the Simsbury player who had the ball into touch and uh, forcing the turnover. Here comes the Belmont line out. Back pot again. There they go. And the mall is on again. Driving forward, driving forward. Ball's out. Jake wiggles into space. Continues, keeps his feet moving, moving. There's the ruck. All right. So the call was not releasing. Once you've tackled a player, you need to let go. So Jake will kick. And he finds touch at the Simsbury 45. A lot of emphasis placed on safety in rugby tackling. A lot of uh, time spent teaching proper tackling technique, getting low, wrapping, avoiding big uh, head collisions. Absolutely. Uh, no high tackles, anything above the uh, the shoulders is called immediately. That ball goes long, but Gonho cle cleans it up. Belmont is there in support. And uh, not and Gunho needed to release that ball and did not. Uh, if you are tackled and you have the ball, you have to let go. Have to release the ball. Simsbury, the nice ruck, again, testing the Belmont channels close to the breakdown, and not much there. Knocked forward by Simsbury, so we'll have a scrum to Belmont at the 45. The Simsbury second row, Connor Martin at number four, Noah Herberk at number five, the flankers, Nick Brown and Luke Montesi, and a guy whose name we've called quite a bit today at number eight, Niles Arongo. Chris Morelli is their scrum half. Ravi Bamidipati is the Number 10, Ben Roberts at 12, Jeff Giglio at 13, and the back three, Max Allen, Will Reynolds, and Elijah Love. Belmont finding space on the outside. A nice dish to Rahul. Tackled there, support for Belmont. Belmont sets up a forward pod. 
Billy carries in. And there's Max Dobin from Jake. Dobin crashing forward. Oh, Max with some nice hands. Oh, Max taken into touch at the Simsbury 10, inside the Simsbury 10. High tackle called on Simsbury, so uh, Belmont will have the penalty here. And they'll kick it into touch. Then my guess is they'll try to maul it into the uh, try zone. Let's see what they have. So Belmont putting some good pressure on Simsbury with an unfortunate high tackle. And it will be uh, Belmont line out at about the five. Hammer with the throw. Alex gathers. Nope, they run a loop off the end. And Matt Dobin carrying the ball in for the try for Belmont. Another five points for Belmont on the board makes it 19 to nothing and Jake will again try for the extra two. Nice play from Belmont there. Bringing the ball down and then sending Dobin around the back of the line, picking up the pass, coming around the corner to score the try. Beautiful try from Belmont. Jake gets a sip of water. And lines up for the extra two. Twenty five minutes gone in this contest. Belmont in pretty good control so far. A little bit of a breeze uh, picking up here at Harris Field, blowing across the field. So uh, Jake has his brother come out to hold and the kick is true. So that makes the score 21 to nothing. Marauders. Nice crowd gathering in the stands for this first home game of the Marauders season. Gradually, uh, Filtering in here as the afternoon progresses. And Simsbury with the kick, high. Tamer receives it. Strong run forward. Dobin chewing up some meters. And out to the backs. Jake throws a little dummy. but it's knocked on. So we'll have a Simsbury scrum at the uh, 42, 43. Right at center field, good attacking position for Simsbury. Ball's out for Simsbury. Arongo with the ball again. Spins it out. Running hard. 
their number 10, Ravi. Belmont with the turnover. Dobin crashes forward. Kimball with a high, high kick, followed up nicely there by Belmont. Jake gathering the ball at center field. Runs hard into contact and to ground. Belmont winning the ruck. Asa setting up to receive, gets the ball, crashes through. Asa, Asa high stepping. Asa Rosenmeyer in for the try. Beautiful run from the big man. Great moves. And Belmont gathering momentum. Couple of nice phases and nobody's gonna stop Asa in the open field. So Belmont tacks on another five here in the first half. We're about 30 minutes in. And the score 26 to nothing. Coach Tony Dow out there uh, bringing out some water and the kicking tee to Jake. Jake lines it up, and the kick is good, making it 28 to nothing. Of course, Belmont Rugby started in uh, 2007 when a group of kids uh, begged Coach Bruce to uh, get a club started here at the high school, uh, and that program has grown to uh, to about 80 boys playing rugby this season and about uh, 65 girls. So almost one in 10 students playing rugby at Belmont High School this spring. Uh, quite a community. Nice to see so many kids out enjoying the game we all love. Bouncing kick to Jake who takes his time. Fakes like he's gonna kick, sends it forward. Nice run. Oh! Stephen Hong to Max. Back into Stephen. Simsbury recovers the ball. But that's picked up by Gun Ho. Nice play by Gun Ho. And it looks like a penalty high tackle. So, smart play by Jake to fake the kick. And then some beautiful passing running down the sideline here. Steven to Max and back again. And we'll have Belmont line out at the 10. Another scoring opportunity for the Marauders here. Tamar with the throw. Belmont line out. Back, back pod takes it. And this time they go the other direction. Gun Ho. Belmont. And again, not releasing the ball. So, Belmont can't make use of that opportunity. Simsbury will have a chance to kick it away here. Ball stays in. 
Steven fielding it. Runs right. Out to Jake. Jake powers forward. Goes to ground. Belmont controlling. Here's Asa again. Asa dishes to Gun Ho. Nice pass. Tackled there. Belmont with numbers on the outside if they can make use of it. Dobin. Dobin out into open field and Matt Dobin not to be stopped. Takes the ball right into the center of the try zone and scores another Belmont try. Thirty-three to nothing, Marauders. <laughs> of course, Belmont boys and girls winning state championships uh, last uh, year. Really exciting day at uh, Curry College. Both programs uh, extremely successful. Kate McCabe, the head coach of the girls, uh, is putting together just a fantastic program. And there's the halftime. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you for joining us. Don't go away. Welcome back to the second half. Your Belmont Marauders versus Simsbury High School from Simsbury, Connecticut. In a friendly match here at Harris Field on a very warm afternoon. Uh, boys getting some uh, much needed hydration at the half. And uh, Belmont playing from left to right in the blue and white. Simsbury in yellow and blue playing right to left. There's the kick from Belmont to start the second half. Fielded well there by Simsbury. Strong run forward. Still on his feet. Belmont gets their defense set. And looks like we had a little bobble there by the Simsbury player. So we'll have a scrum down to Belmont. We'd expect to see some substitutions in uh, this second half. But uh, so far, looks like the Belmont starters are, uh, are all still out on the field. Here it is. Max bringing the ball up. But a... Uh, Thrown forward is the call by the Sir. So we'll have a scrum to Simsbury. At the at their own twenty-five. So Simsbury sets up for the scrum. And the offensive back line. And again, they're number eight. Very consistent with the eight-man pick off the back of the scrum. Not gaining much. However, Belmont defense there. Simsbury sends their one of their big forwards uh, crashing ahead. Makes the gain line. But driven back. And a Simsbury player down on the field. Awkwardly, unfortunately. Perfect. And uh, we have uh, time off here for a moment. It's a Simsbury player is injured, unfortunately. Training staff and coaches right there to support. Start of the game. 
And time's back on, Simsbury scrum. They hook the ball well. Goes out to their back line. Fakes there, but brought down by Belmont. Belmont, of course, priding itself on its defense. The same in practice is defense wins games. And the trick in uh, rugby defense, of course, is to keep a flat line close together, good good consistent form and to come up and put pressure on the other team as a unit. Put a lot of time into practicing that. And we have a couple of substitutions. Looks like Charlie Clem and Chris Miranda coming on as Alex DePamphilis. And uh, Matt Dobin come off. Dobin with a tremendous first half plus. Putting some points on the board. Belmont Pack drives forward, but Simsbury has won. The hook and a nice clearance kick out to the uh, 46. <laughs> Belmont was thinking about getting that ball in quickly off the line out, but uh, looks like the Sir wanted it at the mark, please. So we're going to have Belmont line out at the uh, Simsbury 46 yard line, playing in. Belmont uh, with four guys in the line now. Looks like it's going to the back. It does. That ball gathered well. Billy, nice job in the line. How Gun Ho runs hard. Kimball digs that one out, sent wide. And uh, looks like it might be another high tackle there on Simsbury. High tackle, yep. So again, uh, high tackles. Uh, Really serious infraction. Really want to keep everybody safe in the game of rugby. Of course, it's a tough sport and it's an aggressive sport with a lot of contact, but tackling low, one of the things everybody can do to make it as safe as possible. Belmont with the penalty kick, sending it into touch. So we'll have a Belmont line out right around the 15, 16. Billy off the top, passes out. Nice run. And again, oh, a little chip through. Gathered well there by Belmont. Sets up another phase. Asa Rosenmeyer rumbles in, goes to ground. And another try scored by Belmont. Looks like Zach, Zach Zadem, sophomore, playing here. Uh, 
Really uh, nice to see Zach out there. Started out playing rugby last year and has uh, just really elevated his game. Starting on the varsity side now, and uh, nice to see uh, nice to see him get that try. So that brings the score to 40 to nothing, Belmont. About 42 minutes gone, and Zach scoring. Uh, just to the right of the posts, where Jake will take the kick. Jake sends it through easily for the extra two. And Simsbury will kick to Belmont. Tamer gathers the uh, bouncing kickoff. And I believe that was an offsides call. Oh, not rolling away. So when you tackle, not only do you have to release the player, but you have to roll away from the ruck. You can't stay in there clog things up. So it'll be a uh, kick to Belmont. Thanks, Looks like we've uh, had a couple more substitutions here. Try to get those called out to you. Looks like Luke Wilgren has come in. All right, so scrum down to uh, Simsbury here. Belmont driving back, but Simsbury winning the hook and the ball, bringing it out to their back line. They do have some numbers on the outside. They have an overload if they can get it out there. And uh, Miles Torres making a nice tackle into touch. Looks like Ben Williams coming in. Uh, 
And Belmont beginning to cycle some of their uh, subs in here. Looks like John Dobin has come on too, Matt's brother. And uh, looks like the call is uh, not straight, so uh, the thrower has to send that ball right down the middle of the channel. And if he doesn't, uh, the opposing side has the choice of either a line out or a scrum at that point in the field. And Simsbury has chosen the scrum. Good choice there. Scrum has been pretty reliable today. And we'll see if we see uh, Niles take that ball again off the back of the scrum. They don't. They send it out to the backs. Back in. Their number 13, Jeff Giglio. Simsbury. Another bobble. Belmont playing the uh, scrum advantage here. Play continuing. Max taking things up. Ball comes out. Asa crashes through. Asa keeps his feet. Finally taken down. Just outside the try zone. And the ball taken in. Looks like Henry Thomas might have scored that one. A little bit hard to see from here. Nice try by Belmont. And a score 47 to nothing. Jake is, oh, no, sorry, Jake is off. So Luke Wilgren will be doing the kicking. Jake, a perfect six for six in conversion attempts today. And Luke is going to try to add two of his own. Twenty minutes left in this contest, a pretty one sided affair. So far, and that kick is good. So Luke Wilgren adds two more points to the Belmont total, making it 49 to nothing. And Kimball McMullen comes off, and uh, looks like Aaron Wilgren comes on. So, Simsbury to kick off to Belmont here. About 20 minutes left. And that ball bounces into touch. It'll be Belmont line out at about the 20. Belmont with the throw. Billy off the top. Nice high kick. Bobbled there. Oh. Kick forward. Recovered. Ben Williams, beautiful recovery.
And Belmont scores the try, putting the pressure on. Well done. I believe Henry Thomas might have scored that one, gathering up a loose ball, but there was a little bit of a crowd over there, a little bit hard to see from here. But of course that ball, uh, that try set up by the kick and recovery, beautiful recovery by Ben Williams. Luke with a challenging conversion kick here from the far sideline. Sets it up. Doesn't quite have the distance for that one. And that makes the score 54 to nothing, Belmont. Uh, more Belmont subs coming on, RTM coming on. Looks like Jack Townsend is on. And there's the kick. Tamara is still playing, playing well, playing hard. There goes Zach, finding some space. Oh, turnover. Simsbury. Simsbury now winning the ruck. Again, trying to crash up on the inside channel close to the breakdown. And again, they send it forward, but they are met and driven back. RTM Yesayan. Beautiful tackle and drive there. But Simsbury with the ball. Fighting forward, not seeing much of a gain. And again, they test the Belmont defense, sending their big man up. That ball bobbled. Looks like Belmont might have recovered it. They do, Luke. Good support there for Belmont. So Belmont with the clearing kick, but there was a whistle there. Looks like things might have gotten uh, knocked on, knocked on by Simsbury. One of those passages and uh, We'll come back for a Belmont scrum at the 25. <laughs> Belmont boys showing a, just a lot of nice, intuitive, intelligent rugby this afternoon. But Simsbury not giving up, playing hard all the way through this contest. Belmont wins that ruck. The ball goes out. Steven sends it for, forward with a kick. Simsbury manages to handle that kick. Nice run. Simsbury liking this pick and go off the loose play. Now getting it out to the backs. A little pop over. Luke managing that kick and a little juke. 
giving time for support to get there. Belmont securing. Crashing ahead. And getting the clearance away. Jack with a beautiful kick. Belmont putting pressure on. Oh, Simsbury player. Nice move. Simsbury, good, good ruck there, good protection. Ball gets to the back line. And again, Simsbury kicks over the Belmont defense. And that ball finds touch at around the 25, so it'll be a Belmont line out. Wind has died down almost totally here at uh, Harris Field this afternoon. We had a little bit of a breeze pick up, but not a whiff now. Boys getting a little water break here with about uh, 10 minutes left. All right, we are We've had a sip of water. We're ready for a Belmont line out, four man line out. Again, Belmont throwing a lot of looks in this set piece. A little bit mistimed on the throw there by Belmont, and Simsbury uh, collects the ball. Their big 20, Connor Burnett, crashes forward. The ball pops out, but the whistle's gone. And it looks like a penalty on Belmont. So Simsbury taps and goes. Simsbury wanting to get points on the board here. And they do. Nice run by Simsbury. Good heads up play to take that tap and go quickly while Belmont's defense was getting organized. And uh, Simsbury sees their first points of the afternoon. Scored, I believe, by their number two, Vince Mateo. Nice run down the sideline by Vince, staying in bounds and dotting that ball down in the corner. So that brings us to uh, 54 to five with 10 minutes left in the match. Belmont boys winning 53 to 17 down in Ridgefield, Connecticut a couple weeks ago and then uh, at Bishop Hendricken High School in uh, Rhode Island last week. It was 31 to five Belmont. Nice to get around the region a little bit and uh, play some friendlies, meet some new rugby players. Of course, rugby a very social sport, and uh, teams will often uh, host a little meal after the game, get together, shake each other's hands. You never know who you're going to meet on the rugby pitch in future years as you move on to play in college or beyond in the club level. Or Rugby is a very tight community all over the world. So Belmont J 
Jack Townsend with the kick. Grubs it forward. Simsbury handles it. Steps over one tackle. And into... Belmont sets its defense, comes up, good hit, driven back, and again. So this is the defensive structure that Belmont is known for, but Simsbury bounces off of that one, and a penalty called, high tackle called on Belmont. Simsbury taps and goes. Simsbury player making some Belmont guys miss, but he is taken into touch. Once again, Belmont using that sideline effectively to force the turnover. So we'll have a Belmont line out. Looks like about the 30. Ollie with the throw, Ollie Domingo. And uh, looks like it wasn't straight. So scrum down to Simsbury here. Belmont having trouble getting that throw in straight. And with about five minutes remaining, the score 54 to five, Simsbury has, uh, has a scrum here, the Belmont 30. Simsbury. Finding some space on the outside. Oh, tackled well there. Aaron, with a nice hit in the open field. Simsbury sending their big forwards crashing ahead, making meters. Luke Montesi carrying the ball effectively. And uh, penalty advantage, it looks like. Simsbury playing. Ref still playing the advantage. And Simsbury uh, putting some nice phases together here. Now the Belmont defense doing their job, but an offsides call, and Belmont will get back 10. Belmont player down on the field for what looks like some cramping. That's Max Cornelius. He's calling for a sub. Belmont sending the ball on a kick down to the Simsbury end, and Sim Simsbury sending the ball back. Let's go. 
The Sir calling a an obstruction penalty back in the uh, Simsbury end. So it'll be Be Belmont penalty kick. Stephen Hong kicking for Belmont. Sends it high and into touch. And we'll have a Belmont line out. At about the 10. Belmont with an opportunity to pour, put more points on the board here with two minutes left in the contest. There's the throw. Oh, bobbled there. And there is a full time called by the ref. So the Belmont Marauders win in decisive fashion here at the home opener at Harris Field, 54 to five over Simsbury High School from Simsbury, Connecticut. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Peter Rosenmeyer with Jeremy Meserve and the Belmont Media Center. Please join us next week as uh, the Marauders take on uh, Zavarian High School. We'll see you then.